P.J. Washington and Brittany Renner, the Predator. Who has it harder, young men or young women? You get threesomes. Your girl now wants gangbangs. You with it or nah? Yeah, 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 really? yeah, 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 y
okay. Okay, 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 okay. Shout out to the bartender, the bartender behind there, he Antiguan. I don't know why they where he found him from, but shout out to him too, because he make a good drink. He found him from the best place on earth. The fuck you mean? Yeah, Antiguan bartender. How'd you know that? Yeah. You asked him. We I crazy part is I went there like a couple weeks ago. It was me, Dre, and Chef. Shout out to them. And we was just sitting there. Dre was just in there drinking like he always does on his days off. Just in there chilling, drinking his life away. Right. He calls me, says, yo, pull up. So we pull up. Chef pulls up. And we there for about four or five hours, legit. Wow. Just in there chopping up, talking to the nigga. And, you know, talking shit. And he's like, yeah, you know, come from Antigua. And I was like, Antigua? And Dre was like, oh, we found another nigga. <laughs> it's like five y'all on the planet. <laughs> you already no, know how Dre is. Yeah. So then we chop, chop it up, talk with the nigga, got some free drinks off of it too. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah. So then when I came back, cause that's what we do. We we supply the, the nigga party. had dre- the nigga yeah. had the crazy part is the nigga had dreads like long as Willa. I came back, the nigga had a dark season. I said, Yo, bro, what's up with you? <laughs> what we doing? Like, what's up? Like, I almost hey, I was listen. looking for you and I couldn't find you. He's like, Yeah, you know, I had to make a change. The ladies yeah. like it. I said, You know what? My fault. I nah, can't. when you running from when you running from immigration, nigga, you gotta make changes, <laughs> nigga. You gotta make changes. What 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 we not gonna do? What we not gonna do is make fun of my antique and brethren. We not gonna do that. Okay? Hey, but, hey. gonna do that. But nonetheless, he still showed love. You know what I'm saying we got a me and Shorty got a free drink of it. So shout out to him for that. I told him I'm gonna nice. shout him out on the show. So yeah, shout him out for that because it was okay. Big, yo, free, big, big free facts. Um, um, big thing for my. Antigua and Brethren. Yeah, yeah, he, he got us, the whole he gave us a, Yeah, he that's gave us both a free drink. So, I, I mean, but that's what we do. We, we keep the party yeah. going, man. So, fact, shout fact, out to him. Fact. He probably my cousin on the low. Wow, um, man. it's like eighty y'all in the planet on the planet. So, like, I mean, but we run it. We run shit. You feel me? How when there's only eighty y'all? Don't worry about that. But my week <laughs> was lit. Okay. Um, Wait, real, 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 real quick. We didn't ask you about your week though. Okay, but I'm about to tell you about my <laughs> week. Okay, my week was fire. Um, yeah. We down here in the A, we making shit happen. Man. I'm shooting a video this weekend. We be lined that up. So oh, that's I a vibe. That um, at the same time, yo, at the same time, my son is yeah. about to start the second grade. Oh, that's shout out to that. Let's go. No, like that's fucking crazy oh, to me. Got no bro. sound effects. No, that's a big thing. This, that is a big thing. Yo, he came from my nuts, bro, and he's yeah. about to start the second grade. Like that is crazy to me, man. Like that is crazy. Damn. Like, he starts this week. Like this week, he'd be in the second grade. Damn. And about to start school. Two grades ago, he was in my nuts. Like that is that. That's not nuts to y'all. Uh-huh. Is it nuts that you, he was in your nuts? Yeah, uh, I see what you did there. Me, like, yo, that, see what you did to there. me, that that is that is phenomenal. That's sensational. <laughs> so that's that, that's how my that's how my week has been going. So I mean, I'm, I'm just excited for him. It's it's, it's 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 a good time, man. It's a good time to be alive. I want everybody to embrace yeah, yeah. their life. Shout out I to Prince. Shout embrace. out to Prince starting second grade. Yeah. That's what's embrace up, the positivity that's happening in your life because there's positivity all around. And if you feel like it's not, open up your eyes a little bit bigger and you'll see the positive right, vibes. Right, right. That's what I got to oh, say. Right. And shout out to Stranger too. I just shot a music video with him as well. So look out for that. Mm. Shout out to him. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was, Shout out uh, to my boy Stranger. I, was, I know uh, that's about to be fire. Yeah, yeah. I, I had an actual role in this music video. It's crazy. I can't... I don't well, what'd you do? I can't disclose because, uh... you know... Cause it's it's not he mine to talk. NBA. Yeah, he signed you know the NBA, so he but NBA. I had a I had an actual role in the music video, so shout out to that. So soon, as soon as I see something, y'all see something. You, know what I'm you saying? was a janitor? So, no, no, no. I had like a major role. I was. You know who I am? You, 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 you was a good janitor. Yo, you you know who you know who this man is? <laughs> the the fuck? That, that's that the boy fuck? That's You know what I'm saying? The fuck? That, come on now, that's that no, boy's boy. That's what's up though. You had a good time shooting the video and all that, like. You, nah, it was cool. It was cool. All the homies. Yeah. It was all the homies there. You know what I'm saying it was a good creative moment. Y'all yeah, liked it. It wasn't. It wasn't a party or nothing. It was nothing but creative people there putting input on some dope shit. So shout out to that. Shout out to everybody that was Got a part you. of that. Hell yeah, that's good. I'm with it. That's what's yeah, up, that's man. That's what's up. That's what's up. So right. how about this? Mediator, moderator, roll call, selector, snitching, temporary lover, always toxic. Half a gas station pill, and I said I was gonna say this, and I'm gonna say it. 
Bad bitch Bari. What's oh up? Oh my god. Yo, she's going to be t- <laughs> Yo, she's going to laugh when she see that. Okay. You got to take a Yo. shot by the way first off. Take Listen, a shot. Bro, you got to take a shot. For but, those who uh, know, we don't say the B word on the Willow Wednesday. Show. Facts, facts, we, facts, we facts, don't, facts. We don't say the B word, but I was pressed to say it and I ain't no punk, so I'm going to say it. At the same time, we sipping Delhi on tonight. Shout out to Diddy. Um, Diddy, oh, whenever you're ready, answer yes. the invitation. Come on with the Wednesdays because you're playing. Facts, 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 facts. That's the oh, vibe. True. But go ahead, Bobby. I'll take my shot. Um, so, yeah, first things first. Prayers to, to, to Haiti, man. Uh, they, had, they suffered another horrific, yeah. horrific tragedy. They had a 7.3 or is it 7.4? It doesn't matter, but they had a horrific... Yeah earthquake that devastated the country so mm. please if you know anybody who has family over there friends loved ones if you can donate to the red cross whatever it is send pack send a barrel whatever just help out because i know katie's yeah. over they they they're going through it bad over there right now it's not as bad as the uh, the, hur- the last earthquake they had but nonetheless it's still it was still devastating the hurricane the hurricane the earthquake that they had i'm sorry mm-hmm. so please 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 keep haiti in your prayers keep everybody who's from haiti who has loved ones from over there in their prayers because it yeah, i know I, some people I, who I over feel, there and it's feel, devastating i feel bad i feel bad for haiti because they fought for their independence they were the first ones yeah they, they were the first ones right so they like the black superheroes for real mm-hmm. and since then they've been getting the shit. world has the world has turned their back on them. Or some, oh, you, you, you want to fight for your independence? We don't fuck with you no more. Yeah, and no. I, I feel it's like with all the turmoil and the stress and the problems and the this and the that that they go through, they go through it by themselves and nobody helps them out because they yeah. fought the status quo. And that's crazy yeah. to me. So prayers to Haiti, man. Prayers to yeah, them. Yeah, no, Please keep really. them yeah. in your prayers, yeah, yeah. keep them in your thoughts, all that, because there's a lot going on over there. Also, real right. quick, while we praying for people, man, pray for your family and loved ones too. But um, praise to everybody in Afghanistan, man, because they mm. are over there also going through some shit. Like, yo, they are going yo. through it over there. People are willing to yo. put their life on the line than stay in that country. So, for you to do I, that, I want to say, I want to say something to that. Prayers to them, please. Don't please keep them in your thoughts and your heart and your hearts, because that's a lot. That's a lot. I, I, I want to say we as Americans, we, we have a way of painting things. We, we paint certain narratives and the narrative that's been painted for a while, especially since 9-11, is that the Taliban or the Taliban or the Taliban, whatever you want to fucking call them, mm-hmm. the dumb niggas, the Taliban, the Taliban man, like, mm-hmm. dumb niggas. We take them to be Afghanistan. Mm-hmm. Right, like citizens, right? They're not, and when it's like, not. we need to understand is people that live in Afghanistan. They're just citizens of that city, country. state, country, whatever you want to call them. The people in the Taliban, Taliban, whatever the fuck the word is, it, right? Yeah, they're 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 a separate entity, and that small community may have caused harm to the world. But the citizens of, of that Afghanistan or city, not. state, town, whatever it is, like they didn't ask for none of this. They did. Right. They they want they want peace the way we want peace. So it it, it is heartbreaking to see people mm-hmm. falling from planes just to, to their death. Out, just to get out the country. Just, I mean, just just to get away from a negative situation. Like it's 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 nuts, bro. No, like that, the, the that, footage, the that footage was, is nuts. That puts things. That I don't think. I don't know if about y'all, but I'm gonna keep this real short. It puts things in p- to perspective. You're willing to leave a place where you live. You've probably lived your whole life, willing to sacrifice your life just to get away from a specific group of people. Like that to me is like Not mind facts. changing. Yeah. Like you're willing to legit put your life in a position where. You know for a fact you ninety percent of this you might not survive, but you're like fuck it. I, I don't get. I don't care. I'll do what I got to do because I'm not gonna fuck with them. What whatever it takes so, to get out. So like I said, prayers to Afghanistan. Everybody who has loved ones over there as well. All of those people over there going through it. I, I just have one question on this. 
Mm-hmm. And I just and, and, and then literally because we want we can't spend too much time on this. I want it's it's okay. So so pretty much what happened the the um, Afghan oh, the Americans were there to help the Afghanistan uh, troops fight against okay? the Taliban, right? Against the Taliban. Mm-hmm. So yeah. the Afghanistan troops have retreated. No, the, so now, so now it's just the American troops. No, the American troops retreated. At the end of the day, well, okay, okay, so, 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 what, me, what well, happened? I just had one. Well, I just had one question. Oh, okay. all right, you want to explain it better? No, I, I, just, I, I just wanted to be um politically correct because we have to be okay. correct when we're maybe, saying. Maybe this. I said it wrong. So, um, Trump a couple of years ago when he was president, he started the retreatment of our troops in their land. Right, we. We've been there legit since 9-11 or yeah. a little before then. So 20 years that's, ago. that's 2001. You feel me? Like it's 2021. So it's 20 years. Right. Something so like Trump was awesome. Like, yo, we don't need to be there. Like, Let them handle what they got to do. We can leave because we don't need to fucking be there. So as we started pulling back, they started coming in. The Taliban or Taliban, whatever. They started getting more active type shit. So the people are that are citizens that go to work every day, they also like, no, but we kind of need that protection that you you provided because as soon as y'all leave, it's about to get crazy. So true enough, what happens when we started to leave, that shit started to get crazy. Yeah. And now we're here. And you can continue, Dan. I'm sorry. No, no. Thank you for clearing it up. I, you know, I, I don't ever want to miss, you know. Um, but shit, this is our podcast. You know, we we only be getting half facts and shit. But um, at the end of the day, what what I want to know is Joe Biden agreed with yo get everybody out. Fuck it, this ain't our fight no more. Y'all been fighting for a hundred goddamn years. All I want to know is, would you do you agree with that? I don't know. Bro. Now, mind you, we're protecting I, people I, in a whole other place. I, got, nothing to do I, I, got, a, I, I got an opinion on it. I, I, would you like to David, hear my opinion? That's all I want to yeah, know. Make just before, quick, yeah, make it just quick. Just before quick. we get into the, the show. Yeah, I just make, it quick, make it quick. So, so in synopsis, just to bring it home, I, I feel like what, what one president does isn't the end-all, be-all, and it's not the start of something, right? Um, when Joe Biden took over the government, because that's what he did when he won the, the presidency, he took over whatever had started, right? So I feel like he inherited a problem that was bound to happen regardless. Mm-hmm. Got you. And the, that problem is the Taliban was going to start bugging the fuck out whenever we started to leave. Got you. And Trump ordered the, the, the troops to come home. And, bro, my sister's in the military. My mom works damn near hand-in-hand with the military. Like I, It would have been crazy to not see your family for I'm, 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 I'm very connected with people in the military, people who are overseas, people who are deployed. I get it. You want to come home. Why are we there? That's not our shit. I get it. At the same time, the world looks at America as big brother and big sister. Yeah, America because, is, is a superpower. Yeah, we're, we're a superpower, right? So... If, if we're if we balance the the world order, and then you take us away from a place of cut, of course that place is gonna bug the fuck out. It's like when your parents aren't home, you bug out, right? When we were younger, we did shit we wasn't supposed to do, and I feel like right now they're like, okay, oh y'all not here no more. Bet, let's get back to 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 to, to, to the so, status quo. So what I'm asking you is, do you agree with continuing to take the troops out? Literally, yeah, that's yes, it. Just, just yes or no, just yes or yes. no, yes or no. I'm I'm going to say no. Okay. Only, only because we're looked at as big brother. And if we're going to be, you know what it is? I'm talking to two individuals who don't have a big brother. And myself, I am the big brother. So if we just, like, if we just kept it real minute to that point, I do get it. If I wasn't around, I do feel like my little brother and my little sisters would bug the fuck out. You feel me? Because I do I'm have not, a say. I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry? gonna let that. I'm not gonna let that become emotional and get into a, a spat 
about different arguments. Well, yeah. well no, no, I'll I'll just, no, no, I'll just, no, no, I'm, I don't mean like that. I just mean, not with you. Yeah. I get what he's saying. His brain is working. I, I'm just saying, I'll take that. Um, I mean, all, all I'm saying is when you when you remove the 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 seniority, when you remove the the senior voice from a situation, right? The juniors and the people, the underlings, quote unquote, they, for lack of better terms. Damn it, man! They, I don't want to talk long about this, but they never asked for it, and that's half true. of the people's problem. They like, well, only half the people want America. All right, okay. we got it. Okay. Okay. okay, but uh, so to answer that. Or, my answer to that, and I, mm. by by no means am I saying I'm I'm a fucking political expert because I don't fucking know, right? But so what I understand, if we did not step in, it would have been the a shit show. Average everyday citizens would be in fucking turmoil daily. There, yeah. Right. So I mean, we literally stepped in just to be like, yo, you gotta relax, chill out. Y'all niggas is bugging out. Y'all can't do this to humans. Because at the same time, it's still human rights. So you may not believe what we believe. You may not be under the same rights and the code and the creed that we believe in. But y'all are bugging. Don't do this to your citizens type shit. We might have to make this a real topic. Because how the fuck are we going to go to Afghanistan and tell them what the fuck to do? And I, as a black man, can't walk the street and go to the store. That's another so, no, I, 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 no, you're, you're not, bro. You're not wrong. You're so not it's like, wrong. Word, I, you know, I kind of feel, so, feel like America I'm, doing I'm, too much. I'm, like, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say that what, what happens is there's something called the UN, the United Nations, right? And all the leaders from the United Nations sit at one round table and they discuss what the fuck is going on in their respective nations, right? So now the UN decided it was just America. It the UN out. decided that, that yo, we need we need help, help over there because these niggas is bugging out, and because Who's willing they're to come? bugging out, because they're bugging out, it's gonna throw off the balance of power that we have for the world. It's the mm-hmm. reason why we don't have world wars popping off every week. We could, but we're not going to because of the United Nations. Yeah. So what happens is the United Nations that includes all of the nations. They're like, yo, y'all can't do that shit. And the big brother of the United Nations just so happens to be the United States. So it's not like the United States is like, yo, you know what? Fuck that. We're going to shut shit down. What happens is we get kind of nominated. Like, yo, all right, cool. They're wilding over there. Yo, can y'all shut that down? Because they they bugging out. And we have the means, the resources to say, you know what? That's no longer happening. Do I agree with it all the time? No. But do I understand? Yes. Because if there's bro, if there's no law and order, if there's no balance of power, then you get the Taliban, who does whatever the fuck they want to do with no consequence. I, and now we got people climbing on planes that are 500, 800 feet in the air, and they're flying to their death. They're falling to their death because they, is- they they want to get out of their situation so bad that they'll do whatever it takes. These people are literally. Bro, they were on the runway, hanging on to a plane because they wanted is, to get out. And I and Dame, I'm I'm with you, right? Like I'm 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 with you, and I understand what you're saying because we're black men in this country. So I understand what you're saying, right? Mind it, you, the troops is black. No, and I'm not, bro. If you're gonna, you're not wrong. But that <laughs> Who's isn't fight. Are we fighting? True, you're not, but, bro, you're, you're not wrong not, at all. You're bro. not wrong, but does that mean does that mean but does that mean that we must leave someone else in a position where they're getting treated like shit and treated like shit? Can I give I'm, you an answer? I mean, I, I, like I said, I I I you, don't have an answer, and I don't want to no, sit no, here no, and make it but, seem no, like that. I don't that. have an answer. I don't have an answer to fix the situation. They've been fighting for three thousand years. It's no way that America with our guns and money is going to fix a 3,000 No, it's not problem. about, of course so, not, but, but what it does just, sometimes. But, but, no, you but what do. you ask, what you ask me, should we still leave these people? Every time you're on a plane, they always tell you when the mask come down, put on your mask first before you help someone else. I understand I that, feel that man. same way militarily. I feel like we should put on our mask here. Like we should fix our shit. Because we decided that we was going to be the police. But what you have to... But we, what you we, have to no, no, but we decided that we're going to step in. 
I, no one I, asked. I no one asked America to come through and police it. No one asked, bro. We've all walked down the street and bro, seen a fight. Dame, but and you're you missing like, hey, hey, little man, whoa, but what wait, you doing? But, but, Dame. but, but, but that, that, that's where I disagree because literally, literally, the United States, the, you, the United Nations do ask. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, you they don't do know. Say no. but they do ask. But, but why do you also have even, to date? But even Dame. when we do, it's always split. Half of the people be like, we got us. It's always America and our shit. The other half is like, we need you. It's true. But it's a lot. Well, yo. well, what you have to also understand, Dame, as well, is I get I get what you're talking about, right? And we need to police ourselves first. Put your mask on first. But if we already, f if we feel, and listen, and this is the key word in it, feel. If we feel like our mask is already on, then we can put on everybody else's mask after that. Now, is our mask actually on? Probably not. Most definitely not. But if on United States, if America feels like their shit is together already and racism is, oh, it's a problem, but it's not a it's major fixed. problem. It's, it's is something, fixed. it's a fixable, it's a fixable, it's, pro it's a fixable problem that can be fixed internally. Oh, this is something that we can, it, uh, we just gotta, all we gotta do is just get HR on it and it'll be all right. right. That's how America feels about it. Now, I'm not agreeing with it, but that's just how they operate. And because that's how they think, they think of racism as a minute problem. Whereas they think about the Taliban going over there and, and taking over the government and, and, and putting in the old Islamic law of if you rob somebody from the street, they chop your hand off. If you have sex before marriage, you're getting stoned and killed. If, yeah. um, that's how they operate. Whereas now over here, we're like, they're weighing out the options of, hmm, racism. A black man gets shot by an officer because we think he's a, a, a criminal or you just chopping somebody's hand off because they were hungry and they wanted a loaf of bread. Ah, we're going to save the person with the loaf of bread who got his hand chopped off. Now, am I saying which one is more important than the other? I am not God to play that kind of role, and I don't never want to play that role. However, what they feel and deem is more important is that. Yeah. All right. You know what I'm saying? And, no, and That's what America does. And, and whether y'all don't want to, you know. <laughs> like act so, like they do. nigga, that's what they do. Like America legit is like China. What North Korea fighting South Korea? Do we got something in this? Oh, we got money, we got oil in it. I right, we'll step in and da, da, da. Nick, we always doing that. Oh listen, man. Listen, Game. bro, I, bro, I'm I'm with bro, trust I hear you. you me. I get it. I get it. I get look it. Look at me. Look at look at I me. I get it. I want to, my shit stuck. <laughs> Mine too, right? But we're gonna we gonna keep going like nothing. Like, I, I want I wanna say. You're not wrong, bro. Right, right. <laughs> you you can't fix other people without fixing yourself. I Very get true. it, right? You, you, there's no way that you're gonna sit here and fix something if you yourself are not fixed. So yeah. I understand your sentiment. At the, the United same States time, States fixed already. That's the thing. At the same time, if you have the means to and help. the measures, you should help. And should the help. money, you should help. You should try help. and help. Try. You should just because you should just, still just try. You can. You, you should can. try. No, mind you, I'm a minority. So, bro, we're in the same boat here. We're fucked up. No, 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 no. First off, first off, first off. No, 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 no. We're no longer the minority. There was a, there was a, there was a poll recently done, Come scientific poll, and my, white people, white, white people. people are the minority. In the oh, United States yeah, of America, yeah. right now. I thought, okay, I thought my bad. I thought you were gonna say. And the dude on Fox lost it. He's like, how? how we're the minority. Mexican they are legitimately baby. now the minority okay, so, so in the I, United States. I, 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 I'll say this: um, minority, baby. majority. That 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 may be a number thing. I'm talking about ideology. Oh well, then right? that's different. Yes, so I agree. In ideology, and because right of the back. Fact that, in in the fact that we get locked up by the bushels, which mm -hmm. is a good word. The mm -hmm. bushels. It's all right. right. It's not a good, good <laughs> word, but it's good. It's good. Yeah, bushels is a good word because it, 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 <laughs> how the fuck do you measure a bushel, right? But fuck it. Like, <laughs> because we're locked up by the bushels and because we're looked at as inferior, that um, perception leaves reality, right? So now when you're like, yo, we may be the majority, they don't operate that way. And honestly, we don't operate that way. And that's why we're still in the boat that we're in. Mm -hmm. But with all that said and done, throw that to the side. We are still humans, right? And, we and when, you see, yeah. when, when you see people being fucked up, 
that have, have no way. They don't have constitutions and bill of nope. rights, and they don't have that shit. Mm-hmm. They just have. I said to jump on your left leg thirty times a day because I said it. so. And if you do it twenty nine, I'm killing you. And if you, you don't, I kill you. Right? Yeah. They have that. So because they have that, it's like, yo, let's help. Let's figure this shit out, yeah. and then let's return. And matter of fact, that might be why black people are always the last. Because we we're so have, fucking right? helpful and our hearts bleed for everybody else. And we're so accepting of everything else. Maybe we see people's struggles and we're like, yo, let's help them out before we help our own struggles. And th- Dave, you might you might have a point there with that. But I, but me, I wouldn't change human, that. I, I, I wouldn't change that. I, 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 I still, day, I still, I still personally feel I still personally feel like we're in this country. Um, we can make a good living for ourselves in this country. They can't even do that there. No, yeah. So I'm, I'm <laughs> right. with you. I'm so with they you on that. Still aspect. fucked up worse than us type shit. That's, that's how I'm, I feel. I'm, 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 I'm with you on that. And, and like you said, maybe it's because black people we are so helpful and so forgiving. But I'm gonna be real with you. I wouldn't change that about us at all because at the end of the day, if you Me need either. the help. If you need the help, I'm going to give it. If I have the means to help, Flex. I'm going to give it. Because, granted, we're going through these this these, this racial injustice in this country, and it's I'm not in no means trying to justify it or make it seem like it's something that's acceptable at all. Over there, though, in Afghanistan, what I read, the Taliban institute, once they take over, they're instituting the old Islamic law. And I don't know if people fully know and understand what that means. That literally means, like I said, Old Testament wise, listen, if you steal a loaf of bread and I catch you stealing a loaf of bread, I get to chop the arm off that you use to steal the loaf of bread. You have sex before yeah. marriage, you get stoned, aka killed. You know what I'm saying? You um you don't pray a certain amount of times a day that you're supposed to pray. You're getting killed. All of these things that 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 is it's, it's basic human rights and our right. okay, our human rights may be violated, but they have basic human rights being violated daily, and no one's helping, so, no one's stopping it. And, and that's and what makes it worse. In. And oh, what I makes it, it worse? <laughs> and I don't even want to <laughs> say that. And I'm a black man, and I don't even want to compare the two. Uh oh. Uh oh. But. As a black man, I'm allowed to scream on the streets that this white cop is killing me, this white cop is shooting me, post on social media, all this, that, and the third. Over there, they can't do none of that. That's true. No, that's they not can't, true. It, it, like, facts. there's no voice they can't, they for none of they can't, they can't. They can't even complain. They like can't said, complain. The Taliban kill them and wild them up, bro. Guess what? It's over for that. So that's why it's they're willing to that. hang the fuck off a plane. You know what I'm saying? That's so why they on a fucking plane, bro. So this yeah. is why I'm saying, and I don't want to, I don't want to compare, I don't want to compare the, the the black plight with the plight of an Afghani Afghani uh, uh, a citizen and yeah, sure, you know what I'm saying? Because we go through shit over here that's fucked up, you know what I'm saying? And sure. and, it, and it's crazy, yeah. but guess what? Right now, what they going through over there is is worse. You know what I'm saying? They going through yeah. some shit where it's like, yo, bro, not for nothing. What in the fuck? Mm-hmm. Agreed. Listen, yeah. you have the ability to run your mouth and talk shit after somebody do some shit to you. They don't have bro, the ability. After we, you get punched in the mouth, they got to take that and eat that. Come on, bro. There's no comparison. We, we have a platform, right? Willow Wednesdays is a platform to talk about anything we want to talk about, when we want to talk about it, how we want to talk about it. True. A lot of people in other countries don't even have this platform. Mm. They can't say shit. So this liberty that we have, people aspire to have. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, bro. but that's that, why we step in. See, sure. even you saying, yo, bro, the United States of America, they should take care of their own first. I get that. You are right. But over but there, they, they can't even say no shit like that, bro. They can't I mean, I don't even open their mouth. I don't want to keep dragging it, but the only reason that I believe that America should do it is because the one thing I learned about New York City, I lived there for 10 years now. I'm now in Atlanta, happily. Uh, but the one thing I've learned about New York City is that there's always going to be somebody to ask you for money. Like, it's always somebody, no matter what. 
You can literally help every, you could, you could say, all right, today, I'm going to help every single person that's fucked up. And then that's only Monday. There's also Tuesday and, and Wednesday. And, and, and you literally cannot, right. no, right. you, you cannot help everybody. Nope. You may want to, mm -hmm. you, you just can't. I hear you. I and, and I learned that there because I, I, at one point, New York was getting me. I was walking around with change. Like, all right, so I'm going to just keep a couple quarters. But it, it, Today, I didn't have no change. A nigga asked me for my food. I was like, well, damn, bro, can I eat too? Or, like, I, I it's just it. always somebody. And so America, we pick and choose who we help. And we only help the people that's part of our self-interest. Afghanistan. Bro, got you're, this you're not wrong. You're not we wrong, not bro. Fighting yeah, you're, not wrong. You're, not not wrong. you're not wrong. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. You will never hear me or Willa or myself fight you on that, bro. It doesn't change the fact that you still got to help. Bro. You right? That is a change effect. You still gotta help, bro. So you gotta help when you can. But at some point, enough yeah. is enough. We've been for no, twenty cool. years. Twenty. Yeah. Oh, boy. I don't <laughs> even listen. Let's change the topic, yeah, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. Let's but I just topic. wanted. To... How about how about this, right? And this is this is gonna be a great segue. Um, we need to help what we can. We need to do what we gotta do. But at the same time, we got a lot of fucked up shit at home that we need to talk about. Mm -hmm. And let's. Let's talk about it. So, so next topic, y'all. Next topic, next topic. I want to talk mm -hmm. about Brittany Renner and PJ Washington. Mm -hmm. Brittany Renner and PJ Washington. What the hell is going on? So, Brittany Renner and PJ Washington have a newborn son. Shout out to their little son. The Shout blessing, out to the newborn. The, the new life, the new blessings that they have on their on their hands. Um, of course. They dated for, I want to say, about two and a half years publicly, two and a half years publicly. And okay. the problem is, is as soon as the newborn was born, she, she, she broke up with him. They, the relationship was, was shot. It's over. But here's yeah. the thing about it. People have been calling her predatory because secretly from when he was in high school, she was going to his high school games. She was going to his college games when he was at um Kentucky for two years. Mm -hmm. And the moment he got drafted, they were big, cuffed up. The moment he turned legal, I guess, they cuffed up in pitches. They, when he got into the league, when he got drafted, they got pitches together, hugged up. And then when she found out she was pregnant, they taking pregnancy pictures of him holding the belly. All of these oh, great, shit. wonderful things, right? And then the baby comes and she, she dubbed him. So now what people are asking and saying is, is her behavior predatory? She's 27, 28. She's she was twenty five twenty thirty. She twenty six. She was twenty six. Twenty five twenty six. He was pretty much seventeen eighteen. Dating Ooh. her. Ooh. Is that and like I said, she was eyeing him up from before that. Right. So what people are saying is, is that behavior predatory on her part? Being an older woman who knows about life and not know, and she knows she's been around the block a few times. You know what I'm saying? Dealt with certain people. And he doesn't know too much yet. All he is is a young kid who has talent in the basketball realm. Right, right. And no matter how much girls he think he got, he ain't really had no girl women yet in his life. So now, is that predatory on her part to use this young man who's never been in love before and now he's in love and then you broke his heart and he's over here screaming and crying on all over social media looking crazy? Is her you, behavior predatory? Yes or no? What you think, Jay? Go first, sir. I see what you did. I, I see what you did there, King. Yeah. Um, I may be slightly different from everybody else, but I'm going to keep it a buck because that's what I do. Talk, um, to Talk to me. The main question, was she predatory? Yes, she was. Um, she was. Um, but to dig a little deeper... Was PJ Washington an idiot? Yes, he was. Um, what happens is I don't know if I agree said, with that. Oh, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what you may not know, and then you can just speak to it after I let you know of some things that happened, right? Oh, yeah, I know so okay, she's been out publicly saying mm -hmm. she wants to trap an athlete. 
She wants to get an athlete to get her pregnant because athletes don't use protection. Wow. Yeah, she said, said it, she said, ladies, if you want to get taken care of, just fuck an athlete. They don't like yes. rubbers anyway. So, that that was so, those were her words verbatim. Those were her words, right? Get and she said this before this situation. It's not like yeah, it's an after thing. Remember, before, she's the one right? who came out with the so, tell-all book, Dame, what, about bar, all bar, the athletes. Let me go. Let me, bar, bar, let me go. You're taking my thunder. You're taking my thunder, right? Um, we all want to say that she's a predator and she's wrong and she's this and she's that. I personally believe that PJ Washington also is a fool. You're an idiot. Because if somebody is telling you something about themselves, somebody is giving you what they are as a person, you should believe them. But he's he child, chose he not to child. believe this person, right? He, was a child, he said, man. no, no, he, he did what we accuse women of doing. I can change her. Or it's not going to be me caught up like that. No, this woman is letting you know she's here for the bag. She's letting you know that I'm here to take advantage of any poor sap that falls for this ploy. This man mm. is a simp. Mm. He's a beta. Mm. He's regular. Mm. And because she caught one, I don't feel bad for him. Oh, you're she wild. told this man and she told the world at the same time, I am here to trap all idiots. If you're oh. going to get me pregnant as an athlete, it's on you. That is your dumb ass fault. I'm telling you what I want. I'm telling you what I'm after. I'm telling you what I'm looking for, right? What I'm saying is, can I fault her for that? Absolutely. I'm going to call her out of her name for that because she's corny for that. But <laughs> she let the world know what she's about. PJ Washington came in this situation thinking, oh, it's, I'll be different. No, yeah, you're not different. Go, Willow. You're an idiot. Will so I because you fell, you fell for that, and you got shorty impregnated, deal with the consequences. Will because it. you're so happy to be an athlete. You're so happy to have a bad joint. Oh, she looked good. She's a video vixen model. Whatever, whatever the fuck she is. I don't even know what she does. She's basic. She don't do nothing. Uh, so because, so, so because you fell into that trap, I can't shoot you no bail, bro. I would, I would, I would, you I would. Fucked up. Will, Willa, I would, I would, I would, I would agree with you. I agree with eighty-five of what you said, said right? She In terms of up, her bro. and all of that. The only thing I can't agree with you on is the fact that he was <laughs> a child, bro. Oh, okay. you got it. He was a child. The young man Seven. was sixteen. No, 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 no Willa. They didn't What's have your... a baby when he was 17, Barry. No, he wasn't. He was not a child. Willa, 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 a Willa, Willa. I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. I let you go. The young You're man right, was the young man was young when he first met her. Very young. Mentally immature. At the age of 20, 21, 22, you're still mentally immature. He don't know shit. And this is to me, if you ask me, this is his first real relationship that he's ever been with. In been in, if you ask me. So because of that. He was still thinking of the mind of a child. So now, mm. with that being said, he was just a big ass kid with a whole lot of money, and because of that, he didn't know any better in that in I, that I, aspect. I, now, if we're talking I, about, I, I, if, I we're talking, to, if we're talking, if we wait, 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 I, 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 want, I want to shoot. That, wait, hear me out. I want to shoot that sentiment down by saying one thing, and then I'll I'll move out your way. When she said, I am here to get an athlete pregnant. I am here to trap an athlete. Mm -hmm. I'm here for that. When mm -hmm. she said that, it wasn't like she said it yesterday. Okay, she said she it years said, ago. Wait, wait, Bari. She said this years ago. Right. So, if your track record is telling me that this is your M.O., mm -hmm. I know to leave you alone. Willa, what, what you're no, wait, 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 wait. Let, let me round, let me round it off and I'll shut up. I promise you I'll let you go. I just want to round it off and I'll shut the fuck up. I promise you I will. Years ago, when she said this, the whole world was like, hmm, okay. I'm not gonna fuck with you <laughs> because you ain't, <laughs> you ain't on shit, obviously. So I'm not gonna fuck with you. PJ Washington was like, I'll give you a chance, I'll fuck with you. But years ago, when Can she I go said, 
say. Yeah. Well, but the way, so, well, so because, I just because, have to talk. Yes, I, I understand. But like I said, let me to get my thought out and I'll shut the fuck up. No, no, I was talking to Barry. I was talking to Barry. I was saying, can I retort? My whole thought is, because this is not new information, Shorty said years ago, I'm here to trap an athlete. Athletes are dumb. Athletes do not use protection. Sure. She said that. Sure. So because well, after you said that, now an athlete falls into that trap, I do not feel bad for that no, athlete. No, he, no. he told you what the fuck her, well, what her mindset was. You fell for that. And I give up the rest of my time. I digress. I'll shut the fuck up. I, the only part that changes to me everything that she's saying, because everything you're saying sounds correct. If I would have heard a chick saying that, I'm a trap a producer. I'm a producer. Duh. But I'm also 30 plus. You know what I'm Age saying? Bro. At Age, please. 16, factor, bro. 17, at 16, 17, 17 it 18. Don't, it don't matter what you say. If you what show you me some titties, about, I'm bro? going, bro. I don't, Yo, Willa, you know Willa, that. Willa, you got to understand and, something. And, and I'm, wait, just. I, I'm gonna, I, I, feel, I feel bad for you because you're going to get got out here when people are no, telling you what they're about. I, no, but I would have got got at 16. At the age. I would have got you're, got at 17. You're, sure. You're, you're, Washington did not get got at 16, bro. No, he they, got they, bro. He got got from the mo. Willa, well, we not go. Don't do that. How he, old is B.J. Washington? Yeah, Willa, Willa, you're looking at it right now. How after he's old, old is B.J. Washington? I'm gonna now? answer you. Or how he's, long they been dating? Exactly. No, how Willa, old is Willa, now? Willa, Willa. P.J. Washington now is 22. When he first got Ooh. with, wait, 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 how wait, old wait. Is no, baby. No, no, no. I'm, I'm saying this for a reason. How old is the baby? Willa, I think the baby's like one and a half, oh. about to be two, bro. Oh, wait, wait, wait. So, so let's do math, right? So 20, he was 20. If he's cool. If he's 22, the no. baby is one. Let's say, let's say, let's say Willa, that she conceived, she conceived when he was 20 or 21, correct? They was fucking when he was 19. Bro. No, no, what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, she's been out here publicly since since he was 16. Bro, he Willa, yo, fact. Willa, I'm Show sorry, Willa, Show Willa, not nah, bro, Willa. You said you wasn't bro. gonna talk. You said you was gonna talk. You're right. You're right. Now, Willa, I, I, it, and this Wait, is what's killing me. This nigga hit mute. Well, my thing is, Willa, you, you have to understand something. <laughs> the, the young man was a child. He, When he met her, he was a child. So from the moment he met her until he conceived his child and they no longer were together, he was from then till now. Excuse me, I'm sorry. You cannot hold him to the wisdom and understanding of a young man now when he was before when he first was fucking with her. There's no way. It's literally impossible. He doesn't know shit at that time when he first started fucking with her. All he saw at the time was, oh, I got a bad chick. Granted, she said that, but at the age you were, you're a kid thinking about a bad chick being in front of you, fucking you, giving you some pussy. You're not thinking like a grown man who's dealt with women, getting some pussy on a regular basis, and now you know what type of time it is. Because guess what? You are a child. He was legitimately a child. I don't care what nobody tell me. No 18, 19-year-old is a grown man at 18, 19. It's and rare. I, it's few and, and far between. And not messing with no chick six and seven years older because you know Come she on, got you. Come on, Willa. She, that, like, let's not <laughs> paint that, that narrative. Let's not paint the narrative that the moment you turn 18, you are grown. You may have been that. Shout out to you. But not every <laughs> other young man growing up in this era is like that, bro. I definitely wasn't. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't grown at 18, 19, bro. A lot of niggas get got at 18, 19. Why? Because they just don't know any better. You are a if child somebody, still. If, if somebody is telling me what they are and how they are, no matter what age I like, like it, it, Willa, you are one. You are one. Let me go. 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 My thought process is, my thought process is, um, if we don't give women the same leeway, I'm not going to give a man the same leeway, right? And and the reason why I'm thinking that way is 
somebody is telling you what they're about. The whole, okay. they're, they're not lying about what they're about, right? Okay. Jordy did not come out and say, I have ulterior motives. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to dupe somebody. I'm trying mm-hmm. to trick you with it. She literally said athletes are stupid. Athletes right. do not use condoms. Right. So because of that, my sole purpose on this earth is to trap an athlete. I'm not going to feel bad for the athlete that gets trapped after hearing and seeing that. That is your fault. You made a terrible decision. Willa. Now, now, if you want to feel Mm-mm. bad for said athlete, fine. Mm-mm. I feel bad for PJ Washington because his life is now in shambles. Mm-mm. I don't want anybody to go through hurt, turmoil, stress. I don't want nobody to go through any of that. But if the individual that you are dealing with, and I'm looking right at this camera right now, I swear I love y'all, right? I I don't I, I can't give any sympathy for someone who is going to fall for something that has been said to them. If I'm looking you in your face and I'm telling you I'm going to fuck you over, do not fuck with me. And you're like, you know what? I'll give you a shot. You're an idiot. Bro, that's I'm gonna be real with you, Willa. I'm gonna be so real with you. And you wanna know what's crazy, and you're gonna agree me agree with me when you when I say this. When people, you know the saying when they say when somebody tells you who you are believing because you said it, right? And I'm 100% with you. That legitimately is a learned behavior. And it sounds nuts to say it, but it's- I agree it is, with him. That is a God honest him. truth, bro. I agree with him. I didn't, I learn, I didn't learn that legitimately. Yeah. I did not learn that until I got older. I did not know right. that at 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Oh, 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 so, so, you, so wait, wait, wait. And you then, may and have then, known that. And then, and then real quick, real quick, Barry, my bad. And then the fact that she said that stuff, what if he just legitimately didn't know that? I didn't know that about her. And Dame so, be on social media crazy. The fuck? I never even heard of her. So Dame is now on social media crazy. Stop it. He be all over Facebook. And that no, video he's on, he's on Facebook crazy. Facebook. And that video was and that video was everywhere, bro. I'm I'm see, not in tune. No, wait, wait, no. no. Wait, wait, stop. But, but before you before you before you call me all types of you don't know what's going on and shit. Hold on. Mm-hmm. I will admit that I'm not because y'all saw it coming. <laughs> this thing about the you know, this motherfucker don't know shit about shit. Nigga, relax. <laughs> what I'm saying is I am not privy to social media the same way that most people are. I just don't give a fuck, to be honest. So if I get a situation where I'm like, yo, I met this chick, she fine as fuck. Oh my god, Britney Rent. And she like, I'm about to trap me a producer. I don't know that, mm-hmm. my nigga. Me, I'm 30 mm-hmm. plus, my nigga. I don't know that. So, so now I'm stupid for not knowing what the fuck she said six years ago. Mm-hmm. No, bro, that's whack, and I disagree. And, I, I, and like I said, okay, Willow, I mean, that that it, that, it, it, that I, statement. I, 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 I heard. Okay. I only heard her name okay. because of this topic. <laughs> yes, but but Dame, Dame, hear me out. And this is what I was trying to allude to. Right. You only heard this name because of this topic. Mm-hmm. This has been around for a while, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So 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 you don't know, but the world that I come from knows, mm-hmm. and the world that he's in also knows. What happens is. No, wait, 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 wait. Let me continue. I was just saying, I was, oh. So, wait, so, wait, so, wait, so, wait, so y'all, so y'all, y'all have heard of this girl? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Can I finish? Can I finish? Yes, this is not nothing that is new, right? What happens is okay. in the NBA, when you get to the NBA, they have these courses. Um, Watch out for the gold diggers. Watch right. out for the, they have these courses for rookies in the league, Right. They let you know the traps and the pitfalls that you may fall in. And they tell you, don't do it. They give you explanations. Also, what happens is when you get to the NBA or before you get to the NBA, you have an OG. You don't just get in there blind. What is this? I don't know nothing. Oh, my God. You know something because you know somebody, right? So if a name is circulating. And it's the same thing that we we yo we kill women for. We kill women for. You know this nigga was a shit. You in these parties. You you a video model. You know what's right. going on. Oh, you, we yeah. kill women okay. for this, okay. right? Mm-hmm. This, I'm mm-hmm. keeping the same energy with this individual. You're mm-hmm. now in the league. 
You mm-hmm. know these women. Mm-hmm. You know what the fuck is Ooh, going on. Go you game. know people mm-hmm. are preying on you. Mm-hmm. What he chose to do was ignore those signs, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> and create life mm-hmm. with an individual who has said openly, I'm here to trap Let niggas. Me Let me go. Let me go. So, Ooh, so okay. because, because he's now trapped, do I feel bad? Yes. Why do I feel bad? Mm-hmm. I have kids. Mm -hmm. I don't want any kid to be brought up in a situation that's full of turmoil Mm -hmm. and stress and Mm -hmm. strife and Mm -hmm. contention. I don't want that for any child because I Mm -hmm. grew up like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want that shit. Mm -hmm. But what I'm not going to do is absolve the parents for being involved in some fuck shit. I feel like the mom who is Brittany Renner, whatever her fucking name is, she she let the world know, like, hey, I'm here for fuck shit. Hey, okay. this is me. You get me pregnated. I'm only here for one thing. I'm here to collect a bag. So okay. the nigga that gets caught up in that, I don't feel bad for him. I'm, because okay. it's not like she held it. She never kept it a secret. Okay. She let the world know okay, that she was gonna, she was going to do that. So okay. I'm sorry. So now what I'm saying is, Make like I said, decisions with wait, your wait, life. wait, wait, wait. Like I said, I'm going to double down on the first part of it being that this young man was a child and he was still immature thinking wise. He was just a young man with a lot of money. One, two, two. We just had a conversation with Wade off mic about um, the situation in Afghanistan. And you pulled a uh, uh, you pulled a reference out, which was very good in terms of a woman who's in a battered, abusive relationship. Right. Mm-hmm. And we say every day. You know this about this individual. This individual keeps punching you in your face every day, all the time. Mm-hmm. And yet still you stay and you come back and you make excuses, right? Under the same pretenses. But the that person still... To do with this situation Wait, I'm here. not done. I'm not done. I'm not done. So now, this young man, in, in, even in the same light, let's say he did know. Let's say he did know. And people are telling you whatever is going on in the world. The moment you as a young man, the first time you get some real pussy, can't nobody tell you nothing. Especially if this motherfucker is showing you who she is. Even if she's showing you I who just, she is. I, I disagree. It's not okay, going to stop don't. you from do. It's not going to stop you from leaving. It's not going to stop you from making a different I dis- choice. I, I at, disagree. At that, but keep going. At, at, wait. At that time, because guess what? You are not even mentally and mature, mentally emotionally mature enough to even make a move or a choice at that time, and you cannot sit here and tell me that he is. He's I, but, a- well, once again, I can because you mean you, you keep, mean to tell me you wait, keep comparing wait, 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 you wait, to wait, him, wait, bro. Wait, 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 no, yeah, I no, like, I feel like you're talking about you. Yeah, I, Willa, not, not, remove not yourself. A ass, Real talk. Not a dumbass, 16, 17 year old bro, athlete. Willa, on oh God, shit. Willa, wait, for no, a moment. Wait. For a mo- wait, wait, Dame, let me go. Me. Let me go, Dame, please. For a moment, Willow, what I want you to do is remove yourself out of it. I understand yes. you are, yo, bro, you are one of the smartest niggas I know, one of the most resilient men I know, right? Intuitive as hell. Intuitive as shit, right, my nigga? Remove yourself out of that equation. We ain't you talking have about you. to. We're not talking about you because guess what? You wouldn't do it. I may have necessarily not done it to that extent, but you cannot put yourself there. Right. Most young men... At that at that age is gonna probably do the same thing he did, and that's all ball. God. You 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 played ball in high school, right, Jay? My whole life, yeah. All right, so you know the niggas on your team that was dumbasses. <sighs> oh, I know exactly where you going, yeah. Dame. Go ahead, okay. go ahead, Dame. So, yeah. so that dumbass who was on your nice, team who was od was nice, nice on ball, but the nigga can pass a class, dumb as bricks. Mm-hmm. But he can mm-hmm. play ball. Mm-hmm. A chick, he's 16. Shorty's 25. A chick, 25. A chick 23. 25, like, no, 25, 25, 25, 25. A chick 25 is like, hey, little man. And she's fine. You know, he, he ain't little. You know what I'm saying? He tall. He like, I ain't little. <laughs> you calling me little. You know what I'm saying? That dumb ass nigga. That simp ass nigga. She cultivated a relationship. So for when he Low was key? legal... Low key, she was probably talking about him when she said what she said. Fuck around, like, ugh, nigga. Okay, so I, I, I'm, I'm gonna say this, right? I'm gonna yeah, say this. Yeah, after you done, after you say my, what you say, we done. 
we gonna change the topic. Cool. I'm I, I'm gonna say this. Um, mm-hmm. the narrative y'all are painting is that she trapped him at 16 mm-hmm. when he was a dumbass little kid. She mm-hmm. cultivated. Mm-hmm. They was they didn't I, just meet. Wait, wait, wait. Let him go, and then we change the topic, Dame. Like, let him get his shit off. The fact is, he wasn't 16. Mm-hmm. He's 21, 22. Oh and the God. baby is just now born. Right? So 16 and 22 is at least 16 and 4 is 20 plus 2 is 6. Uh, I'm sorry. That's that's at least 5 or 6 we years. We get it. We right? get it. Hell, yeah, hell, cool. yeah, cool. hell of a plan so, she had. So she worked her plan to perfection. Yeah. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get an idiot. And this idiot is going to do whatever I want him to do. And at the age that I deem, I will have a baby. And yeah. once again, once again, I during this conversation, I don't want it to come across that I'm absolve, absolving her. She is a predator. To answer the initial question, was it predatory? Yes, it was. Mm-hmm. Because he was a teenager while she was grown, right? Mm-hmm. But... Where I draw the line is he didn't have a baby at 16 or 17. Oh boy. <laughs> he he did not get her pregnant at 16 or 17. All this right. nigga's too too when he had the baby. So because he's now you don't get it. One okay. legal. So you're looking I'm at not, the wait, actions I'm, of I'm, now. Wait, okay. wait, 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 wait. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not going to say grown because at 21 to 22, I don't consider you grown because I fucked up when I was 21 to 22. So he's not grown, but he's also not a fucking toddler. And because what she had said was years prior, I'm not going to look at you and say, you know what? What you had said, you don't believe that now. We got a good thing going on. I'm going to believe something else going forward. No, you're an idiot. He's an idiot. And I, 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 I stand by that. I'm sorry. You want to know what it is, Dave? We could, we could, we could, we could agree to disagree. We got it. We could agree to disagree. I know he what it is. Over the Will is looking. Was she a predator? Yes, she was a predator. And I feel like Will. she needs to be crucified for that. Because if, 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 if a man did that, we'll get killed. So, and we so understand it. that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Y'all ready for the next topic, fellas? Let's do it. Let's go. So, young men have it harder than young women. Older women have it harder than young men. I have this video for y'all to listen to real quick. Um, pretty much, I was watching this other show, and they were, they, it, was, it was a statement or a quote that was put up on Twitter that somebody said, and I want y'all to hear it, and I want to hear what y'all think about it. Weird, but not because men can make babies forever. We cannot. You know, I read something really interesting the other day. It was a quote on Instagram that somebody posted, and it said that young men have it harder than young women, and older women have it harder than older men. Because- I agree. Fellas, 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 talk to me. What y'all think? Oh, that's the clip? Yeah, that's, the, that's it. That's all that's in the clip. My bad. I just thought it was more information. I was like, huh. Nah, it was just a... It's a quote from um twitter that somebody said young men have it harder please young men have it harder than young women but older women have it harder than older men wait that's not backwards no do you think it's backwards oh i see my brain just just took it differently. So let's let's flip that on his on his head. So what it means is young women have it easier. Yes. And then older men have it easier. Have it easier. Got you. Okay. Yes. No, no. So that's for me because my brain who, was like, the fuck? Willie, you Tell get what you, you think? Do you think that younger men have it harder than young women? And also, do you think older women have it harder than older men? Or you think that's all bullshit? Wait, one more time. One more time. One more time. I said what? Do younger men have it harder than younger women? And then the second part to that is, is do older women have it harder than older men? Um, I agree with both statements. 
Uh, I feel like younger men have so much societal pressure that we have to figure it out now. We have to be the mm-hmm. providers now. Uh-huh. We got to make it happen now. Everything is now, 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 now. When you're younger. Mm-hmm. Um, when we do get older, I feel like men are allowed to age gracefully uh-huh. when women... When, okay. when, when women are not, right? Mm-hmm. So an older man is looked at as somebody who has wisdom and they're a, a father figure and what, whatever they, what, whatever words you want to insert, I, I do feel like men get that leeway mm-hmm. to be older and be okay. Um, women, when they're older, they look at as used as as uh you know tired. like think, and and not yeah, tired old used tired old ran through yeah yeah i i feel like we as men we're you allowed to age, yeah we're, right. we're we're allowed to age gracefully yeah the, the same way the same way how when a man has gray hairs he's looked as distinguished wisdom and distinguished and uh, oh that's yeah that's that's, that's, that's Thing was fellow, but a, a woman with gray hair is like, oh, she's old, she's tired, she's haggard. Mm-hmm. She's like, it, it, uh, it, it's just words that we associate, right? I agree. So I on, agree. The flip, on the flip, on the flip side, for if we're talking about the younger um, men, younger, um, many, many. Hey, how we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, men younger, where where we're giving we're given the past to be immature and and not all there, and we're figuring out. And women progress earlier than us, so they can make the decisions because we're immature and they're not. At the, it, 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 it's a weird dichotomy because right. yeah. we can be. Im- or in one breath and then be looked at as distinguished and 100%. whatever word I get insert, but women don't get 100%. that same pass. Yeah. So that's, that's my statement. Yeah. 100%. And I um, the fuck up. What you think, Dame? I'm, you want me to go or you go, Dame? I want to go because I, I, I'm fucking with this whole Jay shuts the fuck up thing. <laughs> um, Not because I want him to shut the fuck up. I just, I agree with this, like, we say something and then we chill. Go ahead, go I ahead. Say what you got to say. No, but I just want to say I think I think that's something we need to adopt in the future. That's a dope ass format. So you're doing um, this live on the show. I know what the fuck I'm doing. Know what the fuck I'm saying? Um, hopefully somebody agrees. Anybody that likes and comments that agree? No, joking. All right, but um, the only thing I want to add to what he said because he already said it, so I don't have to repeat it. Um. I think that it started from women being fertile, right? Because when you 18, 19, 20, you can have mad kids and, you know, and you, your youth, you sexy, you got your young face and all that shit. Mm-hmm. And, and, and that's kind of where it comes from, just that whole youth thing, you know? And then as you do get older, that's how we know it's a male-dominated world because... As women age, men in general have decided that a woman 60 is not as cute as a woman 22. Right. It's not that it's not the same fucking woman. <laughs> it's just we have all decided as men. Nah, this chick old. She 22. She's supple. Mm-hmm. You know? And like, it's wild to me. I get it because I'm a man. I've also mm-hmm. been on that argument. I can't lie. But I do get that. And it's mm-hmm. kind of like as a woman gets older, but as a man, I'm 30 plus. I don't have any kids. The women are telling me that I'm aging like fine wine. They're like, yo, you still cute. You mm-hmm. not, you know, crazy. The, they fucking with me. They like, oh my God, <laughs> you don't. But then oh, my bad, they don't my bad. look like I look or feel how, you know, they're not doing what I'm, like... I get what you're saying. Me, 
You know what I'm saying? They're not bred to feel how I feel as I age. So, ugh, yeah, that's uh, that's wild. Uh, and I'll I, pass it to you, sir. I think, I think, I think, I agree with all I said. I agree, especially with what Willis said, but I'm going to add another twist to it, right? I feel yeah, like sure. the reason why men have it harder younger is because we have to do a lot more. I.e., for example, in terms of dating, we spend a whole, we have to spend a whole lot more money early. Especially mm. money we don't have. You know what I'm saying? No young man at the age of, from 20 to let's say 29, 30, really has buku amounts of dollars to be blowing the bag and taking several women out on dates trying to figure out which woman he wants to be with for real. It's a lot for a young man at that age to do all of that in terms financially. Whereas now a young lady, she doesn't have to spend her own money. She's pretty. She has a body going for her. She's smart. She has all these, she's attractive. She has all these things going. She um she can now get paid for and sponsored in a sense for all these things. Now when you get older, for example, one aspect is as a man, you make more money. At that time, you should be you should be making more money. And because you're making more money, for example, you'll be suited at, you'll be able to do more. Whereas now, like you said, the beauty diminishes on a woman. And she can't get the same suitors as she once had, had. But the other aspect I was going to add to that, and I may catch flack from, for this, but I feel like Willow might agree on it, is a lot of women have daddy issues. And because, I I, because a lot of women have daddy issues, they're looking for fathers to take care of them. That's why men, when they get older, are more suitable to women than when they're younger. That's why I feel like a lot of women date older men because I may and I may be wrong, but I feel like because they're older, because they're looking for daddies, they're looking for older men to take care of them. They go after older men. They pursue older men because they're looking for something that they may have not had in the past. Let me but just let me just retort real quick. And then it's gonna be will a turn after this. I'm learning how this works now. No, go, 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 go. Get your shit off. <laughs> I talk, you talk, we talk. Oh my god, I'm fucking with this. We might have a new format. Shit talk. Um, I feel like you kind of changed it to what women are doing wrong in the. No, it's not. Argument. That's and that's not even wrong. I'm, but, I'm not, and I'm not calling that a but, wrong thing. But I, I don't disagree wrong. with you. But I feel like you, you, you kind of shifted it a little bit because women having daddy issues would explain why a woman would date an older man. But at the same time, not no no. Okay, I see it now. As I as I spoke it out, because as they age, it's like an older man would make more sense. So then, so then the statement is true. So as a man, you make more sense as we age because, even taking your point, having daddy issues. You never had a father. Get, you never you old enough to now get you a daddy. So in, that, in a quote unquote sense, so, you know so, what I'm saying? So yeah, no, I get it. So so we win as older men. So yeah, no, nah, that's that's wild. Willa, talk to me. What you think? Throw it back to Willa. Uh, um, that was a lot, sir. I agree with all of that. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, <laughs> you the man, bro. <laughs> I, I I don't know. It's 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 tough because as younger people, as men, we are allowed to make more mistakes. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. I feel like as men we're allowed to make more mistakes. I I one hundred percent agree. And then Because we don't have to be responsible for our children. And then as we get older, we're looked at as distinguished. It's like, it's just crazy. It's, 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 it's a weird thing. I, I, no, it's true. It's true. I, I, it's, I, true. I, it, it, it's tough because I, I'm a man, obviously, but right. I, I feel like we're allowed to make mistakes when we're younger, and then we're allowed to reap the benefits when we get older. It's true because, because mm. we don't get so it, it may we we may be speaking from a a, a point of privilege. But isn't that, that an oxymoronic, Willow? Isn't that kind of no, no. like we we're literally speaking from a, a a place of privilege? No, no, I get that we, part. We, we we can do 
we can do what we want and as we please when we're younger because yes. we don't know any better. So, but isn't that, but, and, but I'm just asking you the question, isn't that, isn't, so then doesn't that prove the, doesn't that go against the point of men don't have it harder than women, young, younger men don't have it harder than younger women? If we can make all of these mistakes, then we have it easier than them, no? At a okay. younger age. That, that, but that, that was an original statement? I'm sorry. I'm confused now. No, with no, 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 no. Rick, Go ahead. The original Go ahead, statement you was the original statement was younger men have it harder than younger women. And then Okay, so okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's stay there. Let's stay there. So so I, I don't want to move the goalpost. So yeah, it, it, it was a lot of words said. Okay, so right, right, right. Younger men have it harder than younger women, right? Yes. Um I'm I'm going to say with that statement, I agree because we have to be the providers. Right. We said that. we yeah. have to have things in order. We have to have things situated. We have to because if we're not, we're looked at as inferior. But we could. We're allowed to make mistakes when we're younger, though. Wait. No, wait. I'm, I'm talking to myself. My bad. I said it out loud. I apologize. So I'm just going off the statement that was said, right? And and I can understand why that statement is being said. Um, when you're younger, especially as a man, if you don't got things figured out things situated we're looked at as failures we're looked at as we're not doing what we're supposed to do to have it together and that's kind of crazy because we're young so let us figure it out let us get it together let us get ourselves together so that we can make whatever situation we attach ourselves to a better one so younger men. So, so wait, real quick, boy. I just want to point out because it was just what you just said, right? We just had a whole conversation about homie and Britney. Oh, Brennan. damn! You are my nigga because I was Barry, thinking the you know same I got shit. You, you know I got you, boy. Nah, but you was on homie's ass as far as like he fucking up. He's a piece of shit. He's a dummy. I'm, but I'm he's young, trying I'm to gonna, figure I'm, it out. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to bring it back home, brother. What yes, are we talking yes. about? You, you you can bring it back home and shout Name out to... you my nigga. You my I got nigga. You, I got you on this one. Yes. yes. <laughs> because you. you saw my brain working, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You gave yeah. a whole pass for young yep. niggas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sh shout out to the pass and shout out to Barry with the finger and shout out to Dame agreeing with the finger. What I'm saying is <laughs> the, only the only thing that separates what I'm saying now from what I said before is when someone tells you what they are and who they are if you choose not that. to agree or believe that you're an idiot she I mean, clearly said i'm a gold digger i am here to fuck your life up i am the trap do not fall for the trap and what he did was you know what i'll fall for that trap so 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 I get and like i said I'm learning to just say my piece and shut the fuck up. <laughs> the difference saying. between this statement and the last conversation we had is the no, individual no, no, no. in the statement that we're talking about now does not know the individual that he's dealing with. Right. So, so, talk, so it, talk to it, me now. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it, you and him. Okay. No, we got it. He got it because he know my question. If, if you do not know the individual that you're dealing with, then yes. by all means... You're going off of emotions and feelings. You're trying to build with that person. But if that person is telling you and telling the world and the world has proof that they can pull up that, hey, I ain't shit. I'm here to fuck your life up. If you don't have that on an individual, then, of course, jump head first with that person. Try to build with that person. Try to make it the best that you can. But if that person is telling you that they ain't shit, that they're gonna fuck your life. Nah, but I get I get what you're saying. Pretty much, if you know better, you can do better. But if you don't know better, <laughs> you can't be back. charged for something that you don't know. That's which I do. I do I'm get saying, that. Like, I get we, that. We talking about we talking about this Britney Renner and and P J Washington. Mm -hmm. P J Washington knew that Shorty was a gold digger. He knew that because she came out already years prior, and. If we go, if we go a step further, there's certain circles, right? Mm -hmm. That we know certain people do certain things. True. If we're in 
a painter's circle, right? We're, We're painters now, lip. right? We're going to load the lit painters, we, right? Yeah, we know who the lit painters are. We know who the paint gold diggers are. We, like, we know what's going on. Somebody will say something to you. I get what you... I, yo, hey. This guy decided that. to jump headfirst into the pool of athletes and athletes being the shit, the, the, the people who are the, the... They run the world. Of course, you're going to know the, the traps and the pitfalls because... The people who came before you will let you know, yo, don't fuck with Britney Renner. What I he chose it. to do is uh, fuck with Britney Renner. So that's uh, your fault. He's an idiot. And I'm going to continue to say that. I don't care what we, point we, y'all try to bring. We, we gonna Be disagree. smarter. We're going to agree to disagree on that because, I mean, like I said. No, and, but, and I, but, bro. But that's, why, that, but that's why I love you. Because... You don't just succumb to what I'm saying. I, I love that about you. It's like, because, like, because, like I said, point of views, and yeah, I get it. Because, I, because I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? And I don't want to bring that topic back up, but I'm with yeah. you. On that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, yo, in the sense of yo, bro, you know better. Don't sit here. Cause we all, you already know my stance, nigga. If you can make a million dollars in the league just to not smoke weed, don't smoke the weed, bro. You know better. That's I'm with it. you on that, right? You got one job. You know what I'm saying? Right. Stephen A. Smith says this shit all the time. Put down the weed. I'm 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 for that. Yeah. But when the circumstances changes from a young man who was cultivated from a young age, primed and seasoned from early, it makes things different. For me. For me. Now, like I said, I never I'm I understand you're not shooting son no I'm not saying that he he is what I will give you is there's no way that he didn't know that that video was out. That I will give you for sure. You know what I'm saying? I will give you that because it's like, bro, you knew that video was out. And you knew you heard her say some shit. And, and somebody, and somebody you, said something to you. You may have, you, all right, you know what? You, know you may have not seen the, wait, wait. You know what? You may have not seen the video, but somebody did definitely say, yo, sis, is, sis, sis get around. You have definitely heard that. Now. With even that being said, as a young man, to bring it back home full circuit to the original topic, that the last one we had, as a young man, to even prove my point with what you're saying, there's no, you make a mistake like that now, at the, at the early age of 22, you're fucked for life. Because now you have to now pay for a child and a young lady's living for the next 18 to 24 years of this child's life. If this child is in college, you have to pay for the, you know what I'm saying? Whereas now a young lady- I got, I got, I got a name for the show. For this and wait, wait, and for the young lady, she doesn't have to worry about that. So in the first early ages of it, she has it easy, quote unquote. So it proves the point of the, of the, of, of, of the statement. As a young man in the, early, in the early years of your life, it's hard for you. Cause you make one fucked up move, like get the wrong girl pregnant. Now you paying for it, regardless if it's your fault or not. You you fucked her too early and you got her pregnant. Now look, now you paying yeah. for eighteen to twenty four years. This young lady now she has I'm life easy, but the moment this child is over, this child reaches the age of where it don't need daddy to pay for it no more. I love She's y'all. Fucked. And here's how much I'm gonna go hard. Do y'all remember the topic? That's what, I just brought it back home. Yep. I just brought, I literally proved the point by going back home with the topic. I just yeah. said them young men have it Dame, harder. I just Dame, literally brought it back home. Dame left and came back and tried to make a point. I yeah, did. we just brought it back. I, I failed. I literally, yeah. you didn't hear when I said the original argument that we had is going to prove my Ooh, point and now. I came, saying, and I, came, I came back with such a strong personality. Yeah, yeah it was did. wrong. Shut up. Go back in your arrows, <laughs> your unstraight I'm, arrows. I'm, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. Um, Fuck, what I was going to say. I, I know I wanted to name the episode. Oh, yeah. What's the name right. of this episode? Okay. What did you have? The name that I got for this episode is Don't Get Got. Don't Get Got. Okay. Wade, you like that? Wade said, sounds to good be, to him. To be, to be honest, we, we said that we said that a couple different ways about a couple different topics that we spoke about tonight. At the end of the day, don't be, don't be dumb. Don't be dumb. A- Afghanistan, don't get got. <laughs> PJ Washington, don't get got. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I just feel like don't get got reigns supreme 
everybody needs to know what's best for them. Everybody needs to make the best decisions for them. For them first, but, not y'all. But, for themselves but, first. But ultimately, mm-hmm. don't get got. I agree with because you. Because niggas is agree. looking crazy out here. Yeah. Yeah. You already know what I'm thinking about right now. What she just said. Mm-hmm. It. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that too. Don't get don't got. Don't get got. <laughs> don't get got. I'm saying we, we just got a victory the other day. What man, oh, Kelly Clarkson husband won. He won his marriage settlement and is getting 200. No, is it 200? No, he's getting $187,000 a month in, in, in spousal support. Kelly Clarkson husband and they divorced. I'm saying Shout one of the first that. wins. I'm they, sorry. They I'll wait. They the white. Man. They white. But it's still a man getting a small victory. You know what I'm saying? Because no, they were victory. together, and he was he was a manager for some artists. And then when they got married and had kids, he stopped it and was a stay at home dad. So yep. now, stay at home dad life. He's still gonna be a full time dad. So, but she has yep. to pay for his lifestyle. So now he's getting about a calm, almost close to two hundred k a month. Don't get mm-hmm. got. And I think they have like three kids and their youngest kid is probably like, I want to say like five, six. So he got some Mm -hmm. years left on that. You got 20 years left. Don't get got. Don't get got, Femo. You know what I'm saying? But once again, everybody, thank you for watching Willow Wednesdays. I want y'all to hit the like and subscribe button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Mm -hmm. Put a comment in there. Even if you don't like the video, hit us with a thumbs down and let us know why you don't like it in the comments. Clearly, I came at Willow last couple of weeks because he said that um, Jewels is better than Styles P and Sheik Luch, which I, of course, think he's nuts for. But I, he stands stand by that. He stands on it, and I guess he will stand on that 100%. Um, but I Dame, and I, Dame and I look at this nigga like he's for that. But it's, it's okay nonetheless. I love you daily anyway because you are stupid and crazy for that. Um, nah, they go, was cutting your ass. Go download Skate 107 from Damo. Never been a um, go download water. Vi- oh, he got a video coming up very, very soon for water. Go sh- is coming is, is- and go stream his other video as well. What's the name of the other fucking video you did with um stranger? Uh, don't wanna be. Don't wanna be. Go go watch that too. That video's fire. I'm in a back cameo. If you see me, you see me. Ha ha. If you, you know what I'm saying. Um. Also, go watch our old videos. We got a lot of lit shit. And shout out. Hey, real quick, I want to give Wade his flowers while he's here. Wait, can you give yourself a round of applause or something? Press no, wait, wait is fire. You don't got no buttons over there. Round of applause, Wade. Give Wade. No, I want everybody to give Wade a thumbs up in the comments because Wade has been making me look sexy every week on Wednesday for the past nah, however many yeah, weeks. Yeah, yellow single shot is the shit. You know what I'm saying I'm out here looking clean. When somebody the other day shot. said, "Yo, why your skin looks so clear, Barry?" I said, "Listen, man. I don't know. I don't know about it's that. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of water in the Wade cameras. You feel me? They said, "Can I get some of the Wade cameras?" I said, "I'm gonna talk to my man to see what he could do. You feel me?" Nigga said, "It's water and Wade." Okay, hurry. Wade cameras. The Wade <laughs> so cameras. So he was wading in the water, nigga. Come on, Come man. On. You Hello, me. you see the bar. Ah, <laughs> you see the bar. Right. I know you see the bar, right. but it's all, all right. good. And the bar, right. I'm not a rapper though. But I'm not a rapper though. I'm saying, but once again, thank y'all for watching. We're gonna see y'all next week. He didn't even know what he said, but I right. <laughs> bro, who you talk- listen, I'm not a rapper though. But once again, thank y'all for watching Willow Wednesday. See y'all next week. Yeah, man. We love y'all. Peace. Man, I just want to thank you so much for tuning into Willow Wednesdays. We love and appreciate facts, the facts, support. Facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. If you ain't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button for the YouTube page. Big facts. Yes, yes, yes. And click the bell for notifications mm-hmm. and make sure to join that family page, the Willow Wednesday family page on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Peace.